What's going on you guys? It's Matt and welcome to Downshift. I am here at the top of a mountain in beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho with Hyundai's new 2020 Palisade. And it's time to rethink the way you look at Hyundai. No longer is it just cheap and cheerful. This thing is really, really moving up market. It's transcending its class and its stigmas. It's time to stop thinking Nissan Honda and start thinking Mazda, Volkswagen, and maybe some other Germans. Now the theme of this Palisade is luxurious refinement, and for that we're going to dive into the interior right away. The first thing you'll notice as you step into the cabin is just how well designed it is. It's minimal without losing functionality. It's also got exquisite quilted Napa leather on the seats and doors to punch you in the mouth with luxury and comfort. You don't even get Napa on some Mercedes. And the seats are comfortable. The driving position is comfortable. Everything is pretty much perfect for an easy get in and go family hauler. And it's not just the leather that's up a class from the rest of the segment. Everything you touch is finished in a nice aluminum, a leather, a soft touch material, or something to make the cabin feel more expensive. One thing I like that Hyundai's done is they've kept the cabin minimal. They don't overwhelm you with buttons, but the ones you need are right there for you. This is helped by the new Hyundai infotainment system, which I have found to be one of the best in the segment. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is standard, but that's just the beginning. It's so easy to navigate, and it's quick. This is all controlled through the 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen display that sits right next to another massive digital screen, otherwise known as your gauge cluster on some trims. Digital clusters are my favorite thing, so Hyundai gets good marks for this one. Down near your center console is your gear selector, which is a push button style similar to Honda and Acura. And it's not my first choice, but it makes sense for the vehicle and I see why they did it with this cabin. At least it's not the spin wheel thing you'll find in Ford and Jaguar Land Rover products. Now let's step in the back. The rear seats are some of the most comfy and roomy in the segment. The only competitors that come close are the Palisade's sister vehicle, the Kia Telluride, and the VW Atlas, at least from what I've experienced. The back seats aren't just roomy though, they're also practical, with vents, chargers, you name it. The best part is the USB chargers in the back of the seats in front of you. Hyundai knows you don't want to plug your phone in by the floor and then kick your cord all road trip. Now the second row is impressive and that's great, but the reason that you're all here is the third row. And we're here to see if it'll fit more than just a couple infants or toddlers. And it absolutely will. I myself fit just fine back there and was even comfortable. It's one thing to offer a third row, but to make it usable? And of course in the third row you get chargers and vents and stuff to make it livable. Now moving back even further is trunk space. And it's impressive with 18 cubic feet with the third row up, 46 cubic feet with the third row down, and a whopping 86.4 cubic feet with the second row down. Now let's jump outside and take a look at the exterior. This is where I'm a little more hot and cold on the Palisade. I love the interior, but the exterior doesn't completely match the interior elegance to me. It was really beneficial for me listening to Chris Chapman talk about the design mentality that goes into this thing, and it was helpful seeing these things actually out in the wild roaming around. Uh, they look much more natural off of, off of a stage. It's a little more rounded than I'd like, however I do really like the running lights. They're possibly my top three across all segments these days. They just look really, really cool. And of course the waterfall grille is Hyundai's new corporate face and it shares it with the Santa Fe, so no surprises there. Moving around to the profile, we have a classic SUV shape that doesn't taper the roof, which is why we have so much room on the inside. I really, really like that. The profile is fine. It's not overly dramatic, but I think it's fitting with the theme of this SUV. The 20 inch wheels on my limited trim fill out the wells nicely, and it's even nicer when you think it comes with Hyundai's H-Track all wheel drive system, so I don't fall off this mountain face. Moving around back, you have some of the most interestingly designed taillights I've ever seen. They have a kind of 3D effect to them, similar to the Santa Fe, and I love that. Hyundai, great job on the taillights and the headlights. And as it seems to be a theme these days, it does say Palisade in big letters across the trunk so you don't forget what you're driving. And moving down to the exhaust, it's a dual, kinda. Now that's enough, let's get in and go for a spin. 
Now stepping behind the wheel of the Hyundai Palisade, one of the things that you can really tell and one of the things that they really kind of focused on in their presentation this morning was the fact that it is so isolated and the cabin is so refined and there's the acoustic glass and the foam that they build into the chassis. It really, really does go a long way because we're out on mountain roads here and you don't get a lot of noise coming in. You don't get a lot of wind noise, a lot of gravel and tire and road noise. It really is a nice place to spend time. And the steering is light, the chassis is balanced, this thing corners extremely well for something that's, you know, 4,500 pounds. You know, you've got this 3.8 liter uh, naturally aspirated V6 engine. It runs on an Atkinson cycle, so not only is it efficient, but it's also powerful when you need it to be. You can get about 22 um, MPG combined, which is you know fairly unheard of in this segment. It's, it's really, really good. It's a strong power plant, and it comes off in a really, really composed manner. Now from that 3.8 liter V6, you are going to get 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. And those numbers are class leading. And the suspension isn't anything crazy. Like I said, this thing handles and corners extremely flat and level. It's very composed in the body. There's not a lot of roll for something so big, but it's just a normal McPherson strut up front with a multi-link system in the back, but it just, it's applied so well and the chassis is so well balanced that this thing corners and handles on these mountain switchbacks really, really well. And on these dirt trails and these off-road tracks, it is really nice to have Hyundai's H-Track all-wheel drive system. It's, I've never been at a loss for traction. Uh, it's, it just feels great. It's super confidence inspiring. We were driving over cliffs and I had no worries that we were gonna lose traction or fall off the side of the cliff and you know, we didn't, obviously we're here. Now you will get five different modes in here. Uh, the most aggressive is obviously going to be the sport mode. It defaults into comfort mode, but you will also have a smart, which helps balance uh, distribution of power and torque to the front and rear axle uh, and helps you just maintain a nice uh, and efficient drivetrain with most of the torque and power going to just the front axle to maintain a nice and efficient driving style. You will also have an eco mode, which obviously is just front wheel drive bias, uh, and then a snow mode, which is great for us in Wisconsin and people that experience snow. So you really are never at a loss for any sort of situation that you might be in. This thing is gonna handle anything that the world can throw at you. In sport mode, the engine obviously responds a bit quicker. Uh, your throttle inputs are more sharp. Your steering is weighted up a bit. You get a little bit more feedback from the wheel, although you know with this electric power steering rack, it's not a whole lot of feedback, but you get some. And then it holds your revs up high, so you're higher in the power curve, and you have a nice amount of horsepower and torque available to you, making it feel a little bit more peppy for something this big. Now, this is a 2020 model year, and as such, it comes with all the standard safety equipment that you've come to expect. You have the front collision mitigation, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, rear cross traffic alert, safe exit for rear passengers, driver attention monitoring, adaptive cruise with stop and go, and one of my favorites is a very, very autonomous style highway cruising um, function. Now this HDA highway driver assist system works really, really well. It works with your lane keep assist and your adaptive cruise control. So you set it, it it works on just um, federal highways, but it works really, really well. It kept me in my lane. I wasn't ping pinballing back and forth. It worked really, really well. So props to Hyundai for making that system work so intuitively. One thing that I also neglected to mention is that you will get a heads-up display uh, in limited trims, which is really, really helpful for tracking your speed. You can track your cruise control uh, and a bunch of other information without having to look down and distract yourself from the road. Now with this having an eight person capacity on the interior, you obviously want to have this tailored to families and people with children and you know large groups. So what Hyundai does is they've implemented something called driver talk, which is a one way stereo where you can press it on the infotainment system. There's a microphone that reads my voice and will project it to the back of the cabin. So your kids or your friends or whoever's in the back can hear exactly what you have to say. Additionally, building onto that, you also have a quiet mode. So let's say you and your family went out to the Dells, you went to the water parks, you're having a good time, but the kids are sacked out. They're totally tired, it's been a long day, they're sitting in the back, they're tired, and you just wanna have some peace, some relaxation, some smooth jazz. You can just have that all up front in, this, in the front seat with the push of a button. You don't have to go into settings and move the, uh, the balance and the faders up to the front of the car. Just one push of a button and it cuts audio to the back seats. And one of the final things is this is just a really livable car. I mean, there's seven different USB ports. There's cup holders everywhere. It's extremely easy to get in and out of the third row with just the push of a button. There's handles everywhere. It's, there's so much space and room. Myself at 6'1", I have no problem sitting in the back 
I mean, I can't slouch back there, but you know, I would have no problem being back there for an hour or two at a time. Second row leg capacity is some of the best in the segment, as well as the third row. I mean, this third row, guys, really is impressive. I've spent a lot of time in these three row SUVs, and they say three rows, and it's by the strictest legal definition. You can actually fit human beings back here, and it's great. So ultimately, this is a fantastic family car. It's got all the cargo, the practicality, and now it brings a level of style, design, and refinement that is yet to be seen in the segment. It's very much transcending its old stigma. It's much more luxurious. It's super refined. The ride is incredibly smooth. And when you think that you can get all that and all the tech, and you can tow 5,000 pounds, you can get that all for $31,550 starting. Now that is a hell of a value. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the 2020 Hyundai Palisade. Thank you so much to my friends at Hyundai for bringing me out to Idaho to test the car. I had a great time. This is a great truck. And any of you that are looking for something for your family need to give this thing a look. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, thumbs up, patreon.com slash downshiftmke, and I'll see you next time. Palisade shot one. Look what I found in beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It's a big SUV. It's got a Hyundai badge on the front. What's going on everybody? It's Matt and welcome to Downshift. I am here at the top of a mountain in beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, thank you to my friends at Hyundai for making this possible. And I am here with the new Palisade. It's their new three row SUV. Eight people can fit in Jesus Christ, that's so good. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt and welcome to Downshift. I am here at the top of a mountain in beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho with Hyundai's new 2020 Palisade. And I've got a bunch of dust in my face.